Yes. students, second PUC blueprint 2022. Now, next 10 to 15 minutes, you can concentrate the complete inputs. How to score 100 marks, how to score 90 marks, how to score 80 marks, how to score, how to write choice, including choice, how to save your time, I will explain to you. Please concentrate next to 10 minutes, dear students. When the exam started, dear students, you can go with the, all the question paper very briefly. Take a pencil. Always you write reason number on the question paper. After that, take a pencil and you can mark which question you are already familiar and which question you know answers. My suggestion to everybody, you can start with the five mark questions. So five mark questions from which which chapters they are giving means they are giving relation functions two questions. Match says one question, determinants one question, continuity one question, differentiation one question, application of derivatives one question, integrals one question, application of integral one question, DE one question, 3D one question, probability two questions. In your mind, you can keep always one question you can write from relation functions. One from relation functions. One from matrices. One from matrices. Don't touch determinants. Go with the differentiation one question. Three questions completed. Application of to sand pouring or Ladder, compulsory question out of those two, one will come. So, four questions are, I have give, given three questions in that any one also. Okay. Four questions completed. Next, you can go with the dear students. 3D geometry, if you are thorough, go with the geometry or probability one question completed. Compulsory will come. So, five completed. The sixth question is your choice. Either determinants. I am suggesting don't go with the determinants because determinants, once you start, it takes more time. Or relation functions, you know both questions, you can do. Or probability, you know two questions, you can do. Or integral, if you are thorough, do integral question. Or differential equation. The sixth question is your choice. But these five questions compulsory, you can attempt. Why only these five questions? It is time very less. Very less time it will take for these questions. And if you are thorough with the determinants, you can start the determinants. Six question compulsory, determinants you can do. Then six questions compulsory will finish. You didn't touch integration. You didn't touch application of integration. You didn't touch differential equation. Five marks completed. Okay. Now, I, after finishing five marks, what we can start means you can go with the six marks and four mark question. Six marks and four mark question, which question you will choose means, dear students, LPP. Generally, you are choosing LPP. For LPP, parallelly, which question they will give is either continuity or find A inverse or find the determinants. Out of those three, anything will come. Application of derivatives question I already discussed with you in the yesterday's and day before yesterday's videos. Please go through that in the videos. So, in determinants, A inverse find out one question is there. Or continuity find the value of A and B anyone. So with LPP as well as that parallel question you can do. Now after finishing four marks and six marks, what is there in your brain is you passed in the second PC exam, no doubt, because 30, 30 marks, five marks, 10 marks over. <clears throat> now which question we need to start with? You can go with the one mark questions. Known questions only you can attempt. One mark, two marks, three marks. Known questions only you can solve. Unknown questions you don't touch. Now see what are the four known questions are there in one mark means solve. Relation function two questions they are giving. Any one you can choose. LTF two questions they are giving. Any one you can choose. Matches one question very easy question they will give. Determinants find the value of x question they will give easy. Continuity and differentiability two questions will give. Find everybody x questions. Two questions are easy, they will give. Integrals, two questions, easy questions will give. Vectors also two questions, easy. Define. In matrices, they are asking the different scalar matrix or different identity matrix like that. Similarly, in vectors also, they will ask uh, define unit vector or something defined. Definitions composite, they will ask one. And 3D geometry, what they will ask question means uh, intercept form and questions there. That question they may ask, intercept form. X, Y, Z intercept we need to find or they will give intercept you need to find the equation. I doubt of due to any one will come. 
LPP, you know, feasible region or defined LPP or optimal solution. Three, four definitions are there. You can go with any of the definition. Don't go with only one definition. You can read all the four definitions because we are attending the final board examinations. We cannot expect one more question what they will do. All the four questions you can prepare. And LPP is completed. Then probability they are giving a direct question like find P of A given B of P of A, B given A, P of A, intersection B, P of B, intersection A, like that questions they will ask. Okay. So all the 10 questions are easy questions only they will give. They are giving 15 questions you need to answer 10. You need my suggestion to everybody, you can write all the 15 questions. Suppose you don't know some one question, leave it. Write question number and leave it. Suppose question, if they're given wrong, this, they will give X score. Total 66, 66 questions are there in the question paper. All the 66 question numbers you write in your answers. Don't forget that. Okay. Suppose you are writing question number one, you don't answer, leave it. Question number two, you continue. Three, you don't know, leave it and four. But question number you write. Okay. Now, after finishing one more questions, two marks. Two marks, which questions we need to choose? Very, very important. Choosing of questions. Relations and functions, they will give verify one one and on two questions. Maximum that. Or A star B, they will give verify this A commutative. Like that. Okay. For one mark. ITF for standard questions, we already discussed in ITF with much trigonometry. Two questions you can solve. Two questions are easy questions only they'll give. Maybe they'll give one proof, like uh, prove that two sine was x equals sine was 2x root plus minus x square, or prove that two tan was x equal tan was 2x plus minus x square. Like that one proof, property proof, they will give one question, they will give, or both also they will give questions, no problem. Come back to max as two more question. Find the, uh, this time they are giving, find the value of x, value of y, that type of questions. Okay. x plus y given x minus y given, find x and y. Or x into some matrix plus y into some matrix find x and y like that they will be in matrices. Determines you know standard question area of triangle. In that exercise, not area of triangle only. Find area of triangle or area of triangle given find k value, that time k value, two values will come, or find the equation of line joining. We are expecting this time, find the equation of line joining more. Come back to continuity differentiability. Three different questions they will give in two marks. That is one question for for the continuity of flexibility, one question they will give for continuity. If they're given in continuity, leave it. Don't attend that question by session. It is completely pathetic questions they will give. So the only differentiation questions you can choose, that is 2x plus 3y square equal to cos y find dy by x, that question. Or in that exercise only, inverse trigonometry differentiation related questions, that, that one they will give. Second question, what they will give is a UV formula question, x log x, sin x into log x, only log x or something else like that. Okay. In differentiation. Application of derivatives, so they will give one question that is purely from tangent and normals or increasing decreasing function. Increasing decreasing they will give for three marks means tangent and normals, one mark they will give. Two marks they will give. Okay. Tangent and normals, how they will give means find the equation of tangent or find the equation of normal like that. Integrals. Which question we can expect two marks in integrals means dear students. Two more question integrals, you may expect one question from UV formula, one question from definite integrals, integral 1, 2, 2, log x, dx, or integral 2, 2, 3, cos x by 1 plus sin square x, dx, that type of question. One question from e power x, e power x into secant x plus tan x, e power x into 1 plus sin x by cos x, compulsory e power x into f of x plus sub dash of x question, that there, textbook. Today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, don't open anything. Just you go through textbook. That's our model question. Okay. No question marks, nothing. Now, differential equation, you know very well, odd, there and degree. Okay. Odd, there and degree. Vector algebra, x bar minus a bar dot x bar plus a bar question. Or magnitude of a bar, magnitude of b bar, you can find. Or area of parallelogram compulsory. Two questions compulsory from vector algebra. Already you got 10 questions completed. 3D geometry, whatever question they're given, if you know you do it, otherwise leave it. In probability, what we expect for uh, two more question is uh, A and B are independent, find P of A and B. Okay, find P of A and section B, P of A and B, that type of question. Okay. So if 3D and probability, if you want to go for choice, you can go for choice, don't attempt. At least 13 questions out of how many questions they will give? 18 questions they will give. You need to answer how many questions? Only 10. You can attempt nearly. 13 questions, okay. Come back to three marks. Relation function three marks, what we may expect means A less than or equal to B square. 
a less than or equal to b q or x is divisible by y. Verify reflexive symmetry and transitive. Not visible. Reflexive symmetry and transitive. Out of those three, any question will come. That is easy only. ITF part is a three more question. Is solve tan was two x plus tan was three x. That means find the value of x questions they will give for three marks. Match such three marks. What they will give? You know very well. A B whole dash equal to B dash B dash or sum of symmetric or skew symmetric. This is a standard question. Determine what is the three marks they will give this time. Theorem: A B whole in must equal to B in must be in must or some other question. We cannot expect this time they added the three mark question determinants. We can not predict which question they will give. Continuity and differentiability: three mark questions means dear students, you know. Parametric functions: y equal to a into one minus cos theta. That question one. One question from logarithmic differentiation. That is not big one. They will give. They will give like x power y equal to y power x or x power y is equal to e power x. That type of question. In another question means Rolle's theorem invalid theorem. Very standard question. You know very well. Out of those three, in differentiation, out of three compulsory every student you can do two questions. Two questions easy. They will give one Rolle's theorem invalid theorem compulsory. Another question partial partial differentiation. That means so. Uh, X equal to a sin theta by equal to cos theta. D y by d theta, d x by d theta, d y by d x. That question. Third question, logarithmic differentiation. If you know, you can do. Otherwise, you can leave it. Application of those three marks is approximation question. Compulsory will come. Okay. So come back to integrals. Uh, three mark questions. One compulsory question. You know very well. D x minus everybody. That is partial fractions. X by x plus one, x plus two, or x by x minus one, x minus two. Like the very simple question they will give. Another three mark question in uh, integration part. Uh, what we can, what they are asking is generally in the exercise one or exercise two and exercise three they will give question sine four x cos eight x like that questions. And one question they will come from uh, definite integrals. Application of integration three mark question x square equal to y y equal to x square or simple question simple curve question they will give. Differential equation three marks I already discussed with you parabola or circle touching y axis or touching x axis those questions. Another vector algebra two mark or three mark questions what may expect dear students section four law proof one question another question they will give a bar plus b bar a bar plus b bar plus c bar equal to one find a bar dot b bar b bar dot c bar plus c bar dot a bar where a bar b bar c bar are unit vectors. Okay, that question they may ask. Linear geometry three marks is a equation of a plane passing through the intersection of another plane portion. That is the only three mark question we have in the vector three D geometry. No other three mark question we have. Our distance between parallel lines are distance between two planes. That question also they will you can expect. Probability three mark question compulsory base theorem question. Back one contains back two can example questions you can go through. Example questions in probability. Don't leave it. Maximum probability. What will happen in the other all the other colleges? So they cannot teach probability completely because of time. That's why example question they will teach. That's why example question they may ask. Okay, go through the example questions in probability compulsory for three marks and five marks. So like that, you can finish your uh, examination. First uh, five marks, next six marks, four marks, next uh, one, two, three. Okay. So this is all about. If anybody are interested, please WhatsApp me. I will send the question paper today, eight o'clock to eleven o'clock. We write one test tomorrow morning, eight to eleven. You write one test tomorrow afternoon, two to five. You can write one test. So total three exams you write today, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, morning and afternoon. What will happen because of that? Your speed will increase. Now I said the order. You can go with the order. How much time it taken to finish your examination? Okay. I wish you all the best, dear students. I will come again. Uh, Tomorrow, one more live video. In that live video, I will explain uh, clearly in the examination time how much time you can spend for each and every question. Five mark question, how much time you can spend? Three mark question, how much time you spend? Two mark question, how much time you can spend? And how to cross check your answers in the examination? How to use your time in the examination? That's all about today's class. See you all have a nice day. Bye bye. Your PK sir.